progress on the Raptor gas power conversion. Finally, I finalized my steering, rack and pinion. Used a five eighths pillow block bearings, five eighths uh, stock round stock. Then a quick release steering wheel with an adapt with a quick release uh, adapter. Just comes off. And then you just put it back in place. Like so. Still gotta figure out the alignment on this thing and probably dial in the toe on the front. But for the most part, steering is almost done. 420 cc Predator motor. Torque converter right there. It's coming along slowly but surely. Then up here in the front, well, just realized the steering wheel is going to get in the way, but see if the quick release helps out. Alright, so take that off. That closes. And then down here is where my battery is going to go, but. Alright. Alright, yeah, so it doesn't interfere. Well, a little bit, but it'll clear. See part of the steering column right there. But, anyways, down here is where the battery is going to go. Then I'm going to run this uh, engine switch all the way forward to the front so I could do the uh, electric start. It'll be mounted near the, ste the steering column. That way I don't have to use the pull start even though it still has it attached. But yeah. It's a work in progress. I still got a couple, couple more uh, parts to get in the mill, install, and you know fabricate and do the rest of the floor. Probably cut out this this piece of plastic. It's not necessary, but it's only good for structural support, <laughs> even though it's super flimsy right now. I had to trim the, as I go. Or I had to trim as I built this thing because I had to make a lot of clearance for certain parts and I redesigned the steering column probably like four times and now I got a huge missing chunk on the windshield there and here which is not necessary anymore but I have a second body that I'm going to use for this and I'll just throw it on there instead of the blue one or maybe I'll just throw the windshield on there 